of Kyrie Irving just spoke to the media after his 34-point night. Let's listen in. Hey, Kyrie, I know you have an appreciation for every opportunity you have to step out on the floor, but uh, given your history growing up watching the Nets, how special are Nets Knicks matchups to you? Uh, I mean, you know, as a kid, obviously New Jersey versus New York, that was a big thing. Um, whether the Knicks were at Continental Airlines Arena or, uh, you know, New Jersey was at uh, MSG. Now that Brooklyn versus New York, um, kind of the whole entire area, uh, you know, a lot of people I see on Instagram and Twitter, you know, on media outlets, just New York, New York versus this whole big thing. But um, I think as, as players, we feel it naturally. Um, but obviously being here, being from here, it's a little bit of, of a different sentiment, um, you know, because I got to go home and actually be around Knicks and Nets fans. <laughs> you know, it's my family. So it, it, it's basketball, it's competition, um, it's a world sport. So it's just nothing but respect. But obviously you want to come out here and just have fun um, going against New York Knicks. You know, they've been playing well all season. So um, well coached team and um, just appreciate the opportunity. We're going to get more into the game, but I want to jump ahead to Wednesday real quick. Knowing all that Karras has been through since the trade, how much are you look, looking forward to seeing him back out on the court and competing against him? Oh, man, it's just honored and humbled, uh, obviously, to, to call him a friend, um, call him a brother. Wish nothing but um, you know maximum health and success. Love him. Uh, my family loves him. So, you know, going back and, and, and seeing him is, is always... Uh, in honor, like I said, and um, it's even better to go and compete against him because I know he's going to give us our, his best, and um, that's what we want. But obviously what he's been through, um, just uh, nothing but prayers for me and my family, obviously from the Nets and everyone around the world. Just we want to see him get, get through what he was dealing with, and, and I'm happy to see him back out there. You know, I, I, I went home straight after the game the other night just to turn on to watch his debut, um, you know, because it, it's just – it, you know, so close. It's just family. So I um, just want to see him do well. But we're looking forward to going to Indiana and playing against a good team, too. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kat, could you uh, take us through that last defensive stand, the, the play that you made to get the travel on Julius? Yeah, no, I, I was either uh, going to foul early, um, but I saw him lining up for, for a jump shot. I felt like I could get a, a good hand on it. Um, you know, Scott called travel. I, I, I thought Julius made a, a good play afterwards, putting him down. I was going to foul him after that uh, just to get him to the free throw line. Um, but, yeah, that, that's how it looked. That's how it went. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, do you, do you at all feel the energy in Barclays when it's a game like this and there's fans in the arena? And do you at all feed off that energy that you get from the fans? I mean, I've been playing basketball practically my whole life. So, you know, getting a chance to go in front of, uh, you know, play in front of fans or anybody that's supporting the game and, and want to see players playing hard and competing at a high level um, and that are respectful, um, you know, to all the players and all the professionals that are out there. Uh, you know, that, that's what I, I thrive in is just being able to go out there, prepare the right way, uh, you know, give all the blessings to Allah, to God, whomever you call God as well. No disrespect to anyone else. But, you know, for me, before I go out there, I'm just in a meditative state and uh, I say my prayers and I'm just honored to go out there and just go and compete. You know, whether there's fans there or not, I, it, same same thing for me. You know, <laughs> I enjoy the game the, the same way um, because when no one was there watching me <laughs> work out or watching other guys work out, um, you know, we had to find some type of motivation. Um, but when the fans are in the building, it definitely adds a, a little bit more of an emotional atmosphere. Uh, and, and as players, we naturally feel it. So just try to thrive on, on whether people are there or, or not, stay motivated. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, you guys had the, the double-digit lead in the fourth quarter that the Knicks started to chip away at. Just what, what do you think allowed them to get back in the game? Well, I think... It adds on to Christian's question, you know, in terms of the, the fans getting into it, uh, you know, and just staying motivated. We were obviously up double digits. Uh, we felt like we had the game closed out, but they, they kept coming. The momentum um, shifted. Uh, flow of the game shifted as well. They started getting to the free throw line, got into the bonus. Um, you know, we played the second, third, and fourth quarter, I think, in the bonus pretty early. So whenever the game gets mucked up like that, um, you know, you got to make some defensive uh, – some de defensive holds 
Um, but, but I feel like they just kept coming at us. <laughs> they just kept coming at us, and, and that's why it, it went the way it went. Um, just this prolonged ending to a game where we feel like we should have closed them out early on in the fourth quarter um, and then been on cruise control. But you got to give credit when credit's due. They kept coming.